What's up, fam? Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Camilla's back, back, back. Tell that friend. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'm not totally back since my voice just cracked, but we are back. I am still on the mend of being sick. I have something that I'm really, really, really excited to do today. So I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I partnered up with a brand, let me just cover my name. It's called All Exotic Snacks. And what they do or what they tailor to is they have snacks from all around the world. All around the world, like everywhere. You want China, they got China. You want Japan, they got Japan. Whatever else, they literally have it from practically everywhere. And they sent me a mystery box of goodies. I don't even know what's in here. My mom opened it up. So we're getting a live view, live action. First, like, comment, share, subscribe. S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. -E. Subscribe. All right, I'm so excited. Oh my God, there's so many. I gotta sanitize up. It's warm today. So we're gonna start off with the chocolate banana hockey snacks. I've only ever had the strawberry and I think there's a chocolate kind too. So it says banana cream covered chocolate biscuit sticks. Uh, there's so many that I have to like remember to pace myself and I also don't want to make this a 45 minute long video. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. This smells this smells like what were they called runts like you would go i would always get them at whenever we would go get like chinese food you had you could stick a quarter and you turn it and you get the banana it just smells like a banana tastes like a banana uh grape uh apple i think there was always random ones all right this is what that smells like is it gonna taste like chocolate though mm. These are really good. <laughs> so I'm happy because they're not overly sweet so that the chocolate, like I thought it was going to be like super chocolatey too or there was going to be a, another chocolate filled. I think the stick itself is chocolate, but it's not overpowering. And then it's banana to that around the part. And if you like the runs from banana, the, the run, banana runs, whatever, you would love these. These <laughs> There's so much nostalgia in this. I will not finish all of these. This is going to be a really fun video. These are so good. <laughs> I'm a big fan of these. Okay, Pocky, Pocky. See, it looks different. See how that color looks really dark and chocolatey? It's not dark like that, as you guys saw, so that's why it threw me off. But you get the chocolate-covered banana, or ba chocolate banana, and it definitely tastes like banana cream. I really like that. <laughs> All right, on to the next snack. We are gonna go down the line. What are these? Cheetos. I act So I don't want to offend anyone, so I actually don't know what like language that is there's caricatures so i'm gonna assume it's some asian language um but i don't know exactly what which means i don't know what that is sound off in the comments below what you think that is is that chicken is this supposed to be turkey legs turkey leg flavored cheetos chicken leg favorite flavored oh my god cheetos did I forget how to open? Oh, I got it. These are the weirdest looking Cheetos I've ever seen in my whole life. These are so white. They're not like Cheetos Cheetos where they're like orange AF and artificial AF. Like these are straight up cream colored. barbecue chicken <laughs> they smell like barbecue barbecue chicken legs or barbecue like turkey legs like barbecue not like barbecue flavoring but like barbecued like on the grill
I went down a whole bag of these. Do I like these potentially more than the Flaming Hot? I think so. These are really good. Oh my god! There's a little part in English. Hold on. Cheetos Corn Snacks. American Artificial Turkey Flavor! Is my palate good or is my palate good? The crunch of a Cheeto, ready? I actually think these are more addicting than regular Cheetos or Flaming Hot Cheetos. Sue me if you disagree, but I actually think those are way more addicting and really good. What's next? Lay's Salted Egg. I think I'm gonna keep that for last because Lord only knows how I'm gonna react to that. Let's try these, what are these? Lay's Pure Spicy Flavor. Once again, don't know what language that is. Definitely some kind of character. Is this gonna be super spicy? Cause this, what kind of pepper is that? Is that like a habanero? Is that a habanero pepper? I know those are the ones, Fresno? Is that a Fresno pepper? Chef Zero, what, what kind of pepper is that? I know I like them because they're on the um, the fries at Plant City. Are those pickled, like, I think they have pickled, pickled Fresno peppers there. I think that's what these are. I might want to do a second video to have, like, my mom try some of these. Ooh, these are, like... They smell like a pepper, but the, the color of them almost look like the ruffles, cheddar, cheddar and onion, or cheddar something, cheddar and chive, cheddar chips, you know what I mean? And they have the ridges just like that too. I don't know why, why that says 3 o'clock p.m., but it says 3 o'clock p.m. It's actually 5.30 p.m. here, so I guess I'm not having this at the right time, but we're just going to go in anyways. These are bomb. These aren't even spicy. They say PR spicy flavor. They have like a little tiny kick of heat. But that says something because my heat tolerance has taken a hit ever since having my stomach problems. I can't really have spice anymore. So these are really not that spicy. They do have like an after kick where there's like definitely something there. But I thought they were going to be like... Holy guacamole, I'm gonna be glued to a toilet. They're not like that, but they are good. I'm nervous to try the salted egg one because I've liked everything so far. <laughs> Do I like these more or the Cheetos turkey? I do like these a lot, to be honest, because they have that tiny bit. You don't taste the heat initially, but like once it goes down, you're like, ooh, I feel it in the back of my throat. Like I feel it like right there. I'm gonna clear my palette real quick. Next up, I saw these on their website. I actually, I need to give credit. So the person who runs the All Exotic Snacks account, so nice. Literally, we both were like cheersing to our new friendship and partnership. I actually don't know if it's a boy, if it's a girl, he, she, or what the name is. Like, I have no idea, but the person behind it is so, so, so cool so down to earth i love how they're super passionate about these snacks um and they just have a really great business motto that they're running so cheers to them actually speaking of after this i'm gonna i'm just gonna ask what their name their name is oh these are individually packaged so that's fun so we have the kit kat pistachio it's got a little squirrel on it too that's not a squirrel it's a fish good job camilla is this going to be green, you think? No, not green. Chocolate. It smells like a normal Kit Kat, but almost smells like it's like mixed with Nutella. <laughs> it looks like a normal Kit Kat. Nothing's different about it. Let's see. Mmm. The inside is like wafer, but... Maybe a little tinged green. 
It was so hard to pick up. It's like the faintest amount. I don't know if I taste pistachio on this, but it tastes really good. It kind of just tastes like Nutella. That's a win in my book. Fun fact, I used to hate Nutella back in the day. But then I came around to it. I had it when I was really young and I was like nuts and chocolate. No thanks. Now I really like it. I have a newfound appreciation for it. But if you put nuts in my brownies, I'm going to come for you. I'm literally going to come for you. Nuts and brownies do not mix. I want a brownie that's chewy and yummy and moist and fudgy. I do not want to bite into a crunch of a nut in my brownie. You know what was my favorite thing growing up? This. When you have the leftover chocolate from your Kit Kat on your fingers. We got a few more snacks. Hang on with me, guys. And then there's a bunch of drinks, too. Oh, my God. Oreos. <gasps> Woo! The thin ones, too. Thin Oreos from... Oh, Korea. Wait. Do they have the country of origin from all these places? Or is it in English, at least? Well, this is distributed by Tawa Services from Buena Park, California. Oh, product of Japan. Product of Japan. Okay, cool. This one says... Product of China. Look at me. Camilla, if only you like read before you freaking spoke, your life would be so much easier, my dear. Which one? Product of China. And then the other one we reviewed so far is product of Thailand. So we got one of Korea right now. Oreo Thins Vanilla Mousse. Good thing I read because I would have been like, oh, that's vanilla cake. However, it's in English right there. Whoa! Okay, I didn't know they come like this. So they come in little, like I thought it was gonna be a big sleeve where I could just tear it open. So there's two tiny sleeves in it. I'm gonna rip into this bad boy. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, we're gonna see about these. These, ooh. They smell very vanilla-y. That's why I was like, whoa, like, as very vanilla -y. it's super super thin i'm a very much a double stuff kind of gal because the cream is where it's at however i was never one of those people that would scrape off the cream on three of them and like put them on one cookie and then you have all this and then you just like eat the cookies on its own and then you have this really nice double like triple quadruple whatever pentuple stuffed one not not that kind of gal However, I used to like these when I was younger because I was like, I would get the little 100 calorie packs, not because I was watching it, but it was just super easy and they were thin and crunchy. So let's see, these are like so thin. There's like such little cream, look at that. Okay, they're, these are good, but they're not my favorite ones out of everything I've tried so far. They are really good though. I just love a thick Oreo. That's just all it is, really. However, do they taste like vanilla mousse? Yes, they taste like super vanilla y in the middle. And they're crunchy and they're thin. And your girl loves crunch. But out of because I've been very fortunate, thank you so much, All Exotic, to be able to try all these other ones. That's why I like that's why I like the other ones a little more. Because these are so far fetched and different from what I'm used to this kind of just tastes like an Oreo that has like like maybe like a cake batter Oreo but it's a thin still good we got three more snacks and then a bunch of drinks Snickers cinnamon bun Ooh, this is as English as it gets is this English Hackettstown New Jersey doesn't get more American than that peanuts cinnamon bun flavored nougat caramel and milk chocolate i'm excited for this it smells like a normal snickers bar but i think i'm like burping up the pocky snacks the pocky <laughs> um they smell like a normal snickers but i think it's because of the fact that the cinnamon bun is in the nougat and the nougat's all covered in the chocolate what's that is the commercial for like have you are you are you in a bad mood have you been robbing banks all day? 
have a Snickers and the girl's like, ah. Mmm. So the inside is very cinnamony. I can definitively taste the cinnamon flavor, which is where that cinnamon bun comes from. Everything else is completely the same in it, where it has the caramel and I think peanuts or whatever it is. It's just that nougat flavor, which you can kind of tell. Maybe it's just me, but the nougat color is even a little different. Like that looks like that looks like the inside of something that would be like, oh, like this is a cinnamon bun toaster strudel this is a cinnamon bun whatever like that's what that looks like we are off to such a good start i'm like i i wouldn't even say start because i'm like halfway through but like this is so many oh my god look so they have the little logo for all exotic snacks this is so cute shout out to all exotic snacks i am gonna actually add this also to the beginning of the video but they're giving a 10% off coupon code to my followers. Um, I'll put it in the link down or down below. Um, so be sure to check them out. Order some really cool snacks from them. Is there If there's anything that you want to try, be sure to order it from them. We are on the last snack before the salty egg. These look like Chips Ahoy's. They're called Pepitos. <laughs> I think that's adorable. The brand is called Pepitos, but they literally like the color with the red explanation point, looks like Chips Ahoy to me. I don't know where this is from. It says, Al Fajor de Tres Tapas, relleno con mousse de chocolate con baño de reposteria. Look at my Spanish. I don't even know. See, I don't know all these words, so I don't know. I don't know if this is Spanish. It definitely says, something about like three layers uh with chocolate mousse and i don't know what baño means but that i think that's bathroom in spanish so i'm not sure what this is let's try it it looks like a a, a triple chocolate cookie thing i don't know it almost reminds me of like a little debbie like zebra cake okay whoa this is messy this is gonna stay in here that's exactly what this reminds me of it's like a cookie cake co covered in chocolate. It's almost like what you would get from like Little Debbie. Bomb. That smells really good. Mmm. This is yummy. I definitely wasn't sure if they were actually gonna be cookies in the middle or if it was gonna be soft, like a Little Debbie, like zebra cake type style. Like it would be like layers of cake. But they're definitely cookies. It's crunch. Like, there's straight up crunch in that. There's three layers, and then there's definitely just like chocolate mousse covering all three. The cookies are almost like a shortbread type cookie. Um, it looks like from the picture there's chocolate chips in them. It's hard to tell since it's covered in chocolate, but they almost taste like shortbread style. Um, and then they're covered in chocolate. Like, how can you go wrong when you cover something in chocolate? The, the real answer is that you can't go wrong. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Lay's salted egg. I actually really think that's cool. I obviously know that that's Lay because it looks like Lay's. I think this is so cool how they flavor the Lay's and Cheetos and whatever other brands to fit a country's um, delicacy or what they what they might like. It's really, really interesting because this is obviously, so it says Frito-Lay and Lay's are the registered trademarks of PepsiCo, which is from New York. So it's an American brand, right? Like Lay's, PepsiCo, American brand. But they sell this in Thailand and they, they tailored it to something that maybe people would like over there. Every single video so far, I have tried to pop open a bag, or every single product so far, I've tried to pop open a bag. I have not been able to. I've been unsuccessful and I've had to rip it open. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is gonna be... I don't know how to explain the smell. It smells like a fried egg, but not so when someone says oh my god that smells like eggs like you think of not good stuff right 
this smells like a fried egg like it smells actually really good like you almost like the bottom of your egg got a little toasty because you left it on there for too long look at me being descriptive so you left it on there for too long so it's a little more golden that's what this smells like like it i don't know how else to explain yeah that's how it smells like it smells like a little bit more of like a toasty egg the color is a light yellow orange and it looks like a regular lace chip otherwise like it still has those little pockets of bubbles super thin You can't ask me what this tastes like. There's nothing I can compare this to. It's a little spicy. It's salty. It's like, it almost tastes like, tan like, like soy. Like, I don't know. There's, it's a little bit of everything. It is very, I like, if there's one thing that I'm like, you guys need to try just for the heck of it like just to be able to say that you've tried it try these like these are so interesting they're so different i can't explain it <laughs> i've never actually had a salted egg before i'm gonna assume it's like a cured egg right that's what i'm gonna assume it's very good there's a little bit of a kick to it which I, makes me appreciate it so much more it's a very interesting one. I I do like this. Like I said, if there's one that you should try, it should be this bad boy. Okay, we have finished all the snacks and there are three drinks for me to try. I feel so bad because I feel like I would be wasting all of these if I opened them all up and just didn't drink them all. I'm gonna keep this one for later and I'll tell you why. It's always so hard. I've had different flavor of this before i've had the oh gosh strawberry i think there's a strawberry flavor of this i've had that one i can never push the top so i'm gonna keep this for later i will record my reaction to trying it however i just won't do it right now while we're sitting here it's a lychee flavored lychee i do like lychee i think i feel like i've had it one time on frozen yogurt so now i have two other ones this one is from no idea but it just says ocean bomb orange flavor i think this is from the u.s this has to be from the u.s because everything's in english and it says sparkling water orange flavor carbonated and it has all of the ingredients oh it's a pro product of taiwan so that's what this one is this one just looks so pretty like i just want to drink this one for the sole fact that it's beautiful this one is no idea everything is in another language oh it's by fanta though do you wanna where is it fanta do you wanna fanta do you wanna all right eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers i don't go e out goes y o u all right i'm gonna drink that one i think i was supposed to actually count that one out but i'll just drink that one um i will once again i will try this on camera but I won't have it right now because if I sip it now, no one else can sip it because no one's home right now. So I want to be able to actually enjoy this with other people. So I will go in on this one. Plus this one has a bottle cap so I can close it. Makes it nice and easy. So this one has a peach with a flower on it. I'm gonna assume this tastes like peaches, but it's blue. So Hawaiian peaches? Like, I don't know. Like, that's what I think of. When I think of blue drinks, I think of like, what is that called? The fruit punch, Hawaiian punch, Hawaiian punch, I think it is. They made a blue one for a little while. I can't remember the name of it, but it was really good. Ooh, smells like peaches. I got my peaches out in Georgia. Ooh, that's it. Hmm. Ooh, that smells really good. I don't know what the blue is about, but let's try it. This is probably one of my favorite Fantas, which I love the orange soda. Who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. I love orange soda so much, but this is 
so good. Like it's not overly sweet. It tastes just like peaches. And I love peaches because they will run you in the summer. I think this is gonna be a tough one to beat in regards to drinks. I'll record my reaction to the other ones to know for sure if this is my favorite, but I think this might be my favorite drink. I have high standards now. Out of all the chips, my favorite one, ugh. My favorite one taste-wise, it might be this one because I really want to go back in and have another one of these right now. And you know what? I will. I think this was my favorite chip-wise. However, it's a tough call because I do love the Cheetos ones, clearly. And in regards to sweets, I think my favorite one is either the Pocky or the Kit Kat. If I had to choose one, I'm going to go with the Pocky sticks because I've never had anything like that. And it reminded me of just being a kid. Like I just, I absolutely adored that. Once again, thank you so much, All Exotic Snacks. Everything is just phenomenal. I hope that we get to partner again and we can go in and try all these really cool things together because I'm sure there's so many other snacks around the world that I've never tried. And I think that's one of the coolest things about being able to, um, one, travel, is being able to try foods of other nations, other countries, other other states. Like that's one of that's what I'm trying to do with my friend Lupe from Roadie Foodie. Um, and when you can't travel to all these other countries, it's really hard, right? And it, of course, I'm not going to be able to go all of the time. So this is my workaround: is being able to support small businesses, support local businesses, love what they do, try snacks from other countries, other areas and show my support that way because everything i don't know i i would have never been able to i would have never been able to try any of these snacks if it wasn't for this brand so thank you so much all exotic snacks don't forget to check out down below to look at their website and use the coupon code if you want 10 percent off i believe it is i love you guys so much thanks so much for hanging out with me like comment share subscribe let me know if there's a snack from another country that you want me to try because this is fun and I like this game. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!